Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to apply your primer, foundation, concealer and powder to create the perfect base. Okay, so Elise has already moisturised, so what we're going to go in with is a primer to start with. And the one we're going to use is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage Primer. So you want your primer to go all over your face and you can apply this just using your fingers. Especially on the T-zone, as this is generally where people get larger pores. So I'm just going to rub this in. So your primer's there as a base for your foundation. It's there to smooth out any pores, any fine lines, so that when you do apply your foundation, it's going to go on smoother and it's also going to last longer. So you can get different primers for your skin type. This one generally is really good for all skin types, but if you find you're really dry or really oily, you can get ones that are illuminating or mattifying to suit your needs. So once your primer is applied, you can go in with your foundation. Okay. So the foundation we're going to use is a medium to heavy coverage for Lee. So as we're doing the perfect base, we're going to um, cover up most of her freckles. Um, so we're using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10. And to apply this, I'm using uh, this Bobbi Brown foundation brush. It's quite compact, but I find it's really good for blending and to get a good coverage. I'm just going to apply this into the back of my hand. Okay, so just taking a small amount on the brush to start with. We're going to start from the centre of the face, blending out. So I'm just using small circular motions to blend the foundation. So you always want to start with more product in the centre of the face and blending out so that you don't end up with too much product on the jawline. That way it's easier to blend down slightly onto the neck. And making sure you really blend into the hairline as well. So you want to apply your foundation onto your eyelids as well to make sure you cover over any darker circles or blue purple tones. This is also a better base to then apply your eye primer or an eyeshadow onto. And if you look up for me now, just go underneath slightly as well. So you always want to do your foundation before your concealer, that way you can then see where's left where you actually need to put the concealer. Okay. Do this side, as you can see this side's now looking really smooth and flawless. So we're just going to start on the centre of the face and blend out on this side as well. and look up for me. And close your eyes. Sometimes around the eye area I find it easier to pat it a little bit so that, you, so that you're more gentle and you don't drag too much of the foundation around. Okay, so that's our foundation applied. So next we're going to go in with concealer. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in light one. So you want your concealer to be a shade lighter than your foundation. And I'm just going to apply this using a small concealer brush, but you could apply this using your fingers if you need to. So first what we're going to do underneath the eyes just to get rid of any dark circles. So if you look up for me, I'm just going to gently pat this on all underneath the eye, making sure you go right up to the lash line as that's generally where it could be slightly red. Okay, and you can just pat that in to help that set. And also in the corner of the eyes and just on the outer edge can also sometimes have to be slightly darker. Let's do the other eye. So once you've done the eyes, you just want to have a look around the face and see where's left if there's any dark, 
dark pigmentation or any blemishes that you want to cover up. Sometimes around the nose can be slightly darker as well, so you just want a little bit there. And I'm just gently dabbing on the concealer, so I don't want to drag it too much. I don't want to take off any of the foundation that we've already applied. And just a little bit on the chin. Okay, so once your concealer is applied, your final step is to apply a setting powder. And this is gonna help the foundation to stay and also to get rid of any shine. Right, so our final step is to apply a setting powder. So I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder and a large fluffy brush to apply this. So I'm gonna get some onto the brush, tap off any excess, and then just gently apply all over the face, but especially onto the T-zone as that's areas that can get are prone to shine. And we're just patting it on because this is just going to really set the foundation and give it that long lasting look up for me. And you want to make sure you powder under the eyes as well so that you set your concealer so that it doesn't start to crease. Okay, and there you have the perfect base.